when we are faithless, he is faithful. You know, we're not saved by our faith. And this is another evangelical mantra. We're saved by faith. We're not. We're saved by grace through faith. And that is not ours because it's a gift because we can't boast. And for those who say, well, I don't have enough faith. So, well, God has given you all the faith you need. It's a gift. You don't have to come up with, I've got to believe this. Because when you experience it, you will believe it. And it doesn't really faith mean there. Faith means when, as you said, experience or hear him or however how he communicates hmm. that experience to me. But it's, it's communicating, which it becomes the faith. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's not something we do or have to have. And that is unfortunately how it's been presented that we have to have faith in order for God to do something. Whereas actually, no, we don't. He's already done it. Well, and it again talks about in Galatians where it talks about, you know, I live by the faith of the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Not I live by f my faith in the son of God which is how it's been translated wrongly because they view it that thing it's my faith i'm saved by my faith and if i don't have enough faith well you need a mustard seed but you still need your faith even if it is a mustard seed and and people struggle well i uh, well i you know, i can't you know why did, why did paul believe on the damascus road because he experienced the blinding light of god that came round him and god spoke to him and revealed jesus in him you know, it was like all God's work. None of it was Paul's. Yeah. All he had to do was like, oh, yeah. You know, well, how could he not believe that? Having experienced that revelation. And, uh, you know, when I watched the, the movie, you know, this, you know, Jesus revolution thing, it was the encounters they had with God's love, which unveiled the truth now it was dressed up in all the religious stuff of calvary chapel and all that stuff but actually it wasn't what they were saying that made any difference it was what the experience they had when they encountered god whether they encountered him when they were baptized or whatever when it was something changed their being able to ex believe because all of a sudden well now i do believe you know, I've experienced that. It didn't faith as in blind faith. You're never going to experience this. So you just have to believe and have no experience. That unfortunately is what it became. You know, it's not about your experience. It's about your faith. You know, and even when you don't experience it, have faith. Well, I don't want a life with no experience. That's like saying you want a marriage with no sex. Yes, you you don't want you want the whole package, you want the whole experience of life in God, because He has it all for you. You know, and to say, well, just believe it. You know, there's so so many people struggle. You know, well, you just got to believe by faith, as if, and and even encountering heaven and all the stuff that we do when we're talking about ascensions and all that. Well, just do it by faith. In other words, just try and do it. Well, it doesn't work trying to do it like that. Do it by faith. Of that. And ultimately, we don't do it by my faith. We enter into the promise. The promise is come up here. The promise is enter in through the door. The pro we enter in through the promise which he's made. But it's not my faith in that promise that makes it work. It's the power within the promise. When I come into agreement with, it opens the door. You know, so we've sort of created a whole lot of stuff based on, you know, what our faith is. You know, have faith in God that you've never met. Well, they all met Jesus. Well, they didn't need to have faith in Jesus, did they? They met him, they knew him, they experienced him, and they believed in him. 
And when we come to experience him, we will believe in him. And when other people come to experience him, they will believe in him. But we've told them it doesn't matter about the experience. You just got to believe in him, even though you've never met him. And you have no evidence for the fact, but just believe. So we've created a whole different gospel. And generated a whole different view of what faith is. And you're absolutely right. As soon as you have that experience, that is outworked in your life. Faith is really what he gives us the ability to believe in the reality of what we've had experienced. You know, it's, a, it's a product of the experience, not something that generates the experience. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.